How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Frilla. Um this is a domination game and it's it was really long, it was like fifteen minutes long almost, I'm pretty sure. So um I cut out the first round because as you saw my score I went like 16 and 12. I don't know, I can't even remember. I did something, but it wasn't like crazy awesome and the gameplay wasn't amazing. But and plus I wasn't even gonna talk about the um uh the gameplay too much, so I just needed something to commentate on because I wanted to talk about like black ops pretty much and because I haven't talked about Black Ops at all, and like, because it's the only game I'm really looking forward to. Um, I know everyone's like, oh, Halo Reach, but I'm not a Halo player, so I, and I'm probably not going to get into that because <clears throat> it's it's hard to to get good at Halo when you didn't play any of the Halos before, so I'm not expecting to s start playing Halo and being a boss like that to stick to Call of Duty because to what I know right now but um you know right now my internet's not working in my house at all so I got bored just had to commentate this video but anyways about black ops um what I hope to see well what am I expecting I'm expecting the same engine as um I'm pretty sure it's the same engine as modern warfare 2 look at that painkiller did you guys see that that was crazy um I'm since it's gonna be like the same engine I'm pretty sure is uh, what do you call this game? Modern Warfare 2. It's probably gonna have like the same mechanics and same movements, and the assault rifles are gonna be able to kill you across the map, stuff like that. It's all gonna be pretty similar. So, <clears throat> I'm I'm expecting that, and I'm actually kind of glad for that since I'm a Modern Warfare 2. I wasn't like Super COD 4, so if they made it more like COD 4, then I I'd have to get used to that again, and then. I'd rather just have it like Modern Warfare 2 because I'm good at this and I like it. And I hope they have like the slatter hand pro and everything so the snipers do their. So, or they have something like that. Or the snipers just automatically zoom in fast. But I hope they have the fast zoom in because, like I said, I'm used to this game and I don't want to have to learn. How to, I don't want to have to get good at quick scoping all over again on something else because. Um, I never really quick scoped in COD 4. The only time I did was with the ACOG and that was like this. So hopefully they have something for like some quick zoom in action. Oh, but um what I'm excited about is the fact that it's gonna be like during Cold War and they're gonna see some Vietnam stuff. Bye now. And um since I'm gonna see some Vietnam stuff, I don't know, I'm really a fan of like the Vietnam War era, like it catches my interest more than any other war I guess. I shot an invisible wall right there. Just because, um, maybe just because we lost the war or something, like, we, I don't know, I don't know why I like it so much, but I really just like it. Um, and it's more modern. It's, it's gonna be similar to Modern Warfare, just because, or Modern Warfare 1, just because, um, I'm pretty sure, like, the latest time frame in that game, or during Cold War, is, like, real early 90s, late 80s, I'm pretty sure. So... Um, so they're gonna have some similar guns and stuff like that, like the M16, and I'm hoping that, um, I'm not, I'm really, I don't know, I'm just really excited to see, like, the, the snipers and all the new guns that they're gonna put in that game, because I'm not, I don't know a lot about, like, the guns and actual fighting stuff about the Vietnam War. <clears throat> I was more interested in the I don't know about the politics part, but it definitely was pretty interesting stuff that was going on during that time, but you guys would probably be bored if I talked about that this whole time. And, um, but game-wise, for, for, like, perks and stuff, I really, there's no way that they bring Commando back. If they brought Commando back, that would just be, like, fail of the century. But I'm not so much worried about them bringing in stupid perks. I'm sure they wouldn't do something like that because they obviously are. Well, hopefully, they're obviously stupid enough to listen to what we all hate and then keep it in the game. <coughs> I'm just more worried that they're gonna pay, put other perks in that are gonna be 
just as stupid as overpowered because if people have already forgot ever since perks were created there have been overpowered stupid perks since COD 4 which is when I'm pretty sure they first introduced perks to COD um well, first of all like Juggernaut um I don't know some people like Juggernaut um but those are more like try hard, more of the try hardest people like Juggernaut or new new people like it. And then I could, I think because it, it does add a, some sort of balance to the game, but then it also makes it less fun for people who like snipe and stuff because there's so many videos you can just look on YouTube like fail Juggernaut hit marker and there'll be like a thousand videos of people doing like crazy shit with their snipers and then shooting the person and getting the Juggernaut hit marker. Which does get annoying at times, but I guess it does add some sort of balance. But also like martyrdom, three times frag, stuff like that. Um, hopefully, hopefully they don't add some. I can't even imagine what they put in that could be as bad or worse than these perks. But um. I'm also excited to see what new perks they put in because I won't, I don't know, I've always thought about a perk is always like, the one of the perks I'd like to see. Oh, we, we lost this round, but um, because when you have B left over to plant, it's like almost impossible, it's almost on all demolitions, if you only have one bomb left over to plant, and the other team is equal to you or slightly worse or better but they if unless there's like a huge gap of skill level then you're probably gonna lose because if they have some sort of sense they'll be able to defend that bomb because they spawn right next to it and we spawn all the way across the map so we're on defense so there's not a chance in hell we're gonna lose this but uh like i was saying um what was i saying uh oh yeah the perk i'd like to see a perk I always thought would be kind of cool would be like for people who are more objective players and reward people who play objectively there should be a perk where um where you can like you can do all objective style um like I don't even know how you explain them but like capping flags and planting bombs defusing bombs they should make something that like that uh that makes it go faster like so say you have this perk on it's like objective something I don't know but what it does is like you go to capture a flag in domination and then it loads like as fast as it would be if there's two people on the flag and then there's um then like diffusing a bomb it may be like a second less or half a second I don't know it can't be too much to make the game like super unfair but I think it'd be because it'd be a sacrifice especially if they made it like an important perk like it, it would be so much better than hardline in my opinion hardline is such a I don't know, it's, I've used it before, and it's just, it doesn't do enough, like, sacrificing stopping power for hardline, is, it's just not worth it, you need to make something, the perks have to be all balanced, and I think that perk would be like, if you wanted to sacrifice stopping power, then you should deserve to have something equally as rewarding as stopping power, and I think that would be rewarding, and it would be good to, if you really did play with, competitively and it would give like a competitive people like game battles people like um more to work with and their objective players could you run this perk and then they could do their job more effectively and <clears throat> i don't know i think it'd be a really good class to have like a marathon and then this objective perk say it's like a red perk because all the other perks aren't super um super useful in my opinion. Stopping power is all I need and I can do decent. But it it helps us. So I, I don't know. I just I kind of changed from Black Ops to Red Perks. Um, hopefully they they make some cool perks like that. You guys should leave in the comments so which, what kind of perks and guns you're hoping to see. Don't say like you want to see the M16 because that's obviously going to be in there. M16 and AK. Um, but yeah, go ahead and leave in the comments like what you want to see in Black Ops, even if it's not just um, perks or guns, just anything you're excited to see about the game. One thing I actually am kind of worried about is the maps, for mainly just for the Vietnam, because it's going to be like World at War in the jungle. I'm not going to be able to see anything. People are going to hide and camp in those bushes, and that might get a little annoying, but 
besides that, I'm pretty excited for Black Ops. And uh, I do think Treyarch's going to do a good job. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and this commentary. I'll see you guys later. Peace.